Greetings guys and welcome to another CSGO video. This time it's gonna be another workshop showcase for you guys to watch and I decided to make a couple of workshop showcases and uh, here's the idea but uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be showcasing uh, every uh, I show, I'm gonna uh, showcasing five weapons each week, so it's like a weekly workshop uh, thingy that we are uh, doing here. So uh, please let me know in the comments if you like the idea of that. I already made a M4, uh, top five M4 A1S skins in the workshop, and I would uh, really like to uh, continue the workshop uh, series. I would like to make it a series uh, as well. So here's the that's the idea of making a weekly workshop series. So here's the top five workshop weapons, and these weapons are all custom paint jobs and will be completely random. And uh, according to my preference, uh, the skins will be according to my how I like them. You can have different opinions on those skins as well. And all the skins in the workshop will be in the description for you to vote. And without further ado, let's get straight into the first one. So first one we have a it is a P250 skin which is called a P250 Fire Breather, uh, which is created by uh, Psy and Smooks. Psy and Smooks. I'm sorry if I butchered the name, but it is a P250 skin, a custom paint job again, and uh, really really flashy skin. I think there are no uh, not. Uh, uh, not as many uh, flashy P250s as this one and I think it should be in the game uh, here are some screenshots uh, of this gun uh, in game uh, it looks uh, really really bright and uh, shiny and could be easily identified if it is on the ground I think the magazine is has also yellow color on it as you can see here if you reload it really really good skin indeed I have voted for the skin to be in the game uh, moving on to the next, we have a revolver skin which is called R8 Zerg Green, and this skin is created by uh, Next <coughs> Next Gen Z and Evolum D. Uh, again, if sorry if I butchered the name, and uh, this is an R8 skin. I think uh, Valve hasn't added any R8 skins to the game, uh, custom paint job skins to the game. There is, I think, only Crimson Web and. Crimson the and Amber Fade and Fade. So I think uh, this would be a nice addition to the R8 uh, skins in the next operation. I think Valve should consider picking up some R8 skins from the workshop. And I think the R8 Zerg is a very, very good choice. Uh, it is a, uh, what you can say, a green uh, styled theme, green and brown stylish kind of theme. I think he has also another. Uh, what do you can see another color scheme for this uh, R8 revolver, but uh, it, he didn't uh, show here here on the page. Uh, but uh, here is some footage in game. Uh, it doesn't look uh, as flashy as the uh, P250 Fire Breather, but uh, the design is uh, design is really simple and uh, colors are really bright and great. And I think this should this skin should be in the description, uh, not in the description in the game. My bad. So moving on to the third skin, we have a really really special skin. This is created by uh, none other than the Black Light, who also created the Fire Elemental and Water Elemental skins, and he combined those two skins to create a op, which is called as op Dual Elemental. And I think this skin 100% should be in the game because people like to collect. The, I, I I also have a fire elemental. I used to have a fire elemental and water elemental in my inventory, but I uh, ended up selling them. But I would, if this skin gets in the game, I would definitely again uh, collect all these three skins in my inventory. It's a really really sick design. It's like all the uh, the water elemental, Glock water elemental, and uh, P250 fire elemental. Uh, combined together in one op, uh, in a really bright color. Uh, I don't think he has any in-game footage of the op, but uh, that would have been nicer. But here's the op, which is which looks really really sick. Uh, scope is also painted, and I think this skin should be in the game. And I'm gonna also link all this uh, link skins link in the description so you can vote for them. And uh, it's totally up to you guys uh, to uh, 
make the CS community skins community better and uh, get good skins in the game. So next up, what do we have next up? Next up, we have a M4A4 skin which is called as M4A4 Afum Zah V2. Afum Zah, what a good name! It, it's like an Arab name, I guess. Afum Zah. But I don't know. And this skin is created by uh, Puchara and R A V N. And this is the M4A4 skin, and it's like a kind of a Poseidon themed base. I don't know, maybe it, it has an octopus on it, a marine themed M4A4, and he has some in game for in game in game footage of it. Uh, I think it's I think uh, the green is not suited uh, according to my opinion there should be an, another color uh, more better than green uh, I don't know maybe like a, a red a pink another uh, not pink uh, what am I saying any other color would have been good but I really like this one as well because it it shows the uh, it would have been a dark blue or a really really light shade of blue so it would have been contrasted with the octopus here but uh, nah, this skin also works it's really really nice I voted for this skin and uh, here is some in-game footage really really good and he has some custom wallpapers made of it as well uh, really really good skin definitely uh, worthy to be in the game in the next operation and last up we have a 5.7 skin which is 5.7 galactic visual another uh, skin like the P250 supernova but uh, and this skin is created by atomic7616 csgolike.com and this is a another galaxy based uh, team galaxy theme base uh, 557 five, and uh, I don't know uh, this skin comes with the patterns of the stars or not uh, I haven't looked into that but I think this skin does come with the pattern. Uh, I hope it does, cause uh, the it, there will be uh, some cool patterns of it. And if it doesn't, still looks good. Still looks good, and definitely worth the skin to be in the game as well. So that's it for today's weekly workshop, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, subscribe, and share videos. And as always, I'm out.